Hey everyone, welcome back to Hacker. So in this video, we're delving into the classic problem in computer science, that is how to add two integers without using the addition operator. It might sound tricky at first, but fear not. We'll break it down step by step and explore the fascinating world of bitwise operations. So let's go to the question of two integers. So here, basically, they will give two integers a and b, and we have to return the sum of the two integers without using the plus or minus operation. So here are the basic examples. So an a and b are lie in the inclusive range of minus 1000 to plus 1000. So this should be solved using the bit manipulations. So let's explore the basics of bit manipulation first. So for example, we have uh, like for basic thing is like the computer represents the integers in binary that is using zeros and ones. So bitwise operations allow us to manipulate this binary representation at a bit level. So the key operators will be using is XOR and left shift. So XOR, uh, let's say, let's take zero cross XOR zero, that would be zero. So same, similarly we have, so one X of one is zero. So for coming to and, it would be zero and zero is zero. Com uh, zero and one is zero. One and zero is zero. So one and one would be one. So these are basics we have. Left shift is basically the multiplying by uh, number by two. I was represented in binary as 101. So how it got this 101? Uh, we'll get like this is a unit strength and hundreds place. Uh, so we should be having this as a base of two. So this is two power two, this place, and this uh, place's values is zero, two power one, and here similarly two power zero. So it should be multiplied by the whatever uh, number uh, bit we have. So that would be one here, two here, zero here, and one here. So the sum would be five. So here the bit manipulation approach. So bitwise XOR uh, for basic addition is what we're gonna use. So XOR adds the two bits of the uh, numbers without considering the carries as you've seen. And so bitwise and, and left shift for carrying. And followed by left shift calculates the carry generated by adding two bits. So it, uh, it, it is done in an iterative process where we loop over the XOR and carry the calculation until there is no carries left. So we'll look at this in a flowchart. So these are the algorithm shorts. If there is any carry, uh, we just calculate the sum and then update A with XOR and B with the carry and this process repeats. If there is no carry, we just return the result. So this is the code. Let's look at the code each line. So as you see here, we, we have to define the max to handle overflow that is 32 bit integer and to make sure uh, it ensures only we consider only 32 bits. So the loop conti continues until B becomes zero. So inside the loops, what we do is the core idea behind the loop is to add two numbers a and b without using the addition operator so the process is divided into two mind steps uh, so first it is repeated until there is no carry left meaning that we have accounted for all the bits correctly updating with the xor of a and b i mean a should be updated with the xor of a and b so operation uses a is equals to a xor b and mask uh, why xor here xor adds the bits from a and b without carry it means that both uh, if both bits are 1, XOR returns 0 since no carry is counted here. So example, let's see the uh, calculation here. So here we have uh, A is equal to 0, 1 and B is equal to 1, 0 in binary and doing XOR will get 3. So that is 1, 1 which is in decimal. So here uh, next step is we update B with the carry generated by AND and left shift. So here we have continuing from the above example a is equals to 3 but let's consider b is equals to 1 0 which is 2 and which we uh, expect a carry where we expect a carry here. Uh, so here and is doing and operation would give us 1 0 which is indicates the carry would be shifted like 1 0 would be shifted to left for 1 so we get as 1 double 0 in binary or 4 in decimal so that's what uh, it is like multiplication by 2 so we move the bit correct bit position to be added in the next iteration. So let's consider the uh, role of the mask here in the solution. Mask basically ensures the it's in within the 32 bit signed integer effectively handling the overflow. So updating B with the carry generated by AND and left shift. Uh, so here B is equals to A and B left shift mask and mask. We understood why mask, uh, why AND and shift. So the AND operation finds where both A and B have once which would generate a 
carry in normal addition so left shifting these bits simulate carrying them over to the next higher bit position so example just we seen right uh, a is equals to 1 1 here and b is equal to 1 0 so that's how like left shift uh, we get a carry and we left shift and it becomes uh, 1 0 0 or 4 in decimal so ro roll of mask here is same of same as we discussed it ensures the result fits in within the 32 bit signed integer range and effectively handling the overflow so finally we written uh, by handling the negative numbers if possible so here how we handle negative numbers after the loop we did an uh, a uh, however like due to the python handles integers or uh, python integers are not limited to 32 bit so we need to uh, interpret as uh, a as 32, 32 bit since the answer is expected to be 32 bit in signed integer here so operation what we going to do is we have to return a if a less than or equal to max else we return the a complement so a complement is like since it's a negative number the first the basic condition uh, understanding here is uh, the max is represented as this uh, so it which is within the 32 bit sign range and we can uh, return it directly if it is greater than then it means that it's a negative num uh, it's a negative number but in a 32 sign bit so this operation makes it as a complement of the answer and we had written that way because the negative numbers were uh, represented using the complement so let's go to the demo have the code ready here and then we just run it so it's accepted and let's submit it so yeah the solution is accepted so the conclusion is by leverage uh, bitwise operators we have successfully tackled the question like sum of two integers without using the additional operator uh, understanding this low low level operations not only expands your coding toolkit but also deepens your grasp of computer science fundamentals so thanks for tuning into this episode of hackathon if you found this video helpful be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe